going into the third day of fall, so many things to do today. You gotta catch a bunch of lake fish. I have made another chest. It says make another chest there, but I did that yesterday. I do have to take the three apples and the duck egg um, to the community center and a tiger trail. My gold pickaxe is ready, which means I can now go back to the desert, try and get some more iridium for iridium sprinklers. I need to make a seed maker. Um, the seed maker isn't critical right now. The crab pot kind of is. The seed maker isn't super, super important. I do want to make sure I check out Gus, and then we'll have to see about the house upgrade. I have no idea. But let's jump in. First thing we got to do, I've forgotten already is maybe a community center run or something let's see let's just see i gotta see what the luck i don't even know what, what day of the week is it wednesday okay check the tv radish salad the weather for the tomorrow is going to be sunny the f luck for today mildly bad luck day all right i should still be able to catch 20 lake fish fairly easily Marnie wants amaranth. Perfect, Marnie. I have amaranth growing for you as we speak. Alright, let's go and milk the ducks and get eggs from the cows. Three apples. Baby. Actually, that pig should give me a truffle here pretty soon, too. I don't think. I feel like that pig is going to get a truffle for me here pretty quick. And we got goat cheese, which is good. Because, well, just is, isn't it? <gasps> truffle, yeah, yes. Give me that tr truth. Did I not pet the duck? Okay, <laughs> duck's like going back and forth. Duck, why are you being sus here? There we go. And we have a duck egg. And we've got, how's my inventory looking? My inventory, oh, that's right, I have new, the new backpack now, so my inventory is looking fantastic. Let's put this egg in there. Beauty. Let me just check the fruit cave real quick. Anything interesting? Oh, let's grab the blackberry while I'm here. Why not? All right. So yeah, the big push, I think the next big push is going to be to get both iridium for iridium sprinklers and five bars for... Um, For the boat to Ginger Island. That's going to be kind of the next big thing, I would imagine. Just going to move this. I need to put another chest down. Like so. Okay. Um, great. Because these chests are all super full. Uh, any gifting? I think I've probably done the gifting by now. Yes, I have. Except for Vincent. I could give Vincent a grape. What else does Vincent love? I do have lots of grapes, but how many grapes do I need, though? I need... Is that a summer thing? Summer thing. Only one? Oh, okay. Uh, so let's take Vinny a grape. So, grape for Vinny. Uh, the community center, we're going to go truffle. We're going to go duck egg. We're going to go tiger trout. Um, oh, I should have left the egg in the thing. The goat cheese. Have I given Leah two gifts already this week? Because I think she loves goat cheese, doesn't she? Wow, the floor. I guess Diane has the... <laughs> Diane must have the TV turned really loud because the floor is vibrating. Okay. Um, let's put the egg back in there. Uh, I need a place to keep the goat cheese. Maybe I'll just keep it in the barn, maybe? I mean, I'm not going to need it. And but not, Where else am I going to put it? I mean, I guess I could make, like, a gifting chest or something. That might actually not be a bad idea. Let's do that. I should really color code some of my chests. So here's what we're going to do. Do I really want to do this now? No. Am I going to? Probably. So, what I want to do is reorganize these chests. So, like, all these chests over here are the ones I want to have stuff in. Uh, although, you can, like, move chests now, can't you? You can move chests. Sweet. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's grab this chest. Oh, my ear, ear, ear just fell out. Okay. 
Uh, let's grab this chest. We're going to put this chest right here. And I'm going to mark it as being like gray or something. Maybe like a lighter gray. And this is the one I'm going to put tools and stuff in. I do need my... Whatchamacallit? So let's grab all of the tools and everything. Um, in fact, let's grab everything that's kind of like off the farm stuff too, because I would be going that direction. So let's grab these guys, grab those, the bomb, food, um, rhubarb seeds, that's going to be in a different chest. Those three, let's, let's do that. All right, so that one, that one, that one, food, um, those are coming with me, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, and then tools. Don't need the slammer today. Don't need the yeti tooth or the slingshot or that. Don't need the scythe. Probably don't need the axe. Okay. Now for this guy, which is totally chock full of stuff. Let me organize my inventory here. Maybe I should just go give Vincent the grape. What else can I do right now? Um, the gold pickaxe. Make a seed maker. But that can wait till tomorrow. I don't need that today. Make a crab pot. I do kind of need a crab pot. At least one. Preferably more. Maybe like two or three. Uh, where are the crab pots? So, three iron bars, 40 wood? Ooh, that hurts. Whatever, let's make three crab pots. Okay, we'll take those down to the ocean. Let's leave that behind. Um, where can I leave the, whatchamacallit? Where am I leaving the blackberries? In there, I guess. Okay. So I want to have a chest for keeping stuff. I want to have a chest for gifting stuff. I want to have a chest for processing stuff. And then have like a catch-all kind of thing. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go and do the... Let's give Vincent the grape. we just leave the recycler like here. Let's go give Vincent the grape. Get that out of our inventory. Let's swing by the community center. Get that stuff out of my inventory. Just to make sure we keep it all nice and safe. And... Um, yeah. Let's do that. Talk to everybody as we go. I actually might uh, swing by Marnie's, see if I can talk to anybody who's here. Oh, there's Jazz. Move, Jazz. Get out the way. There's Marnie. Can I get in her room yet? No. What friendship do I have with Marnie right now? Probably not much. One heart, yeah. The Once I get out of the Amaranth, that'll probably... Get me to the point where I can grab the mare's purple shorts. There's Vincent. Vincent! Get the garbage can on the way by. Vincent, stop walking away when I'm... There we go. Alright, that's done. Uh, let's swing by the community center. It's kind of a waste of time, but we're going to do it anyways. Green algae. But what up, Alex? Do you think ladies like my haircut? That looks very fashionable. Says the bald guy. Hey, maybe you should ask somebody else about that. Uh, Harvey wants a sardine. That we can definitely do. I'm pretty sure I have a spare sardine somewhere. I'm in fact quite sure. That's literally why I have a sardine. Uh, what am I, uh, so we got, uh, the truffle, which I believe is the bulletin board. We got, uh, the aminal bundle. Bam! Noise. Another cheese press. Sweet. <clears throat> and fall crops. Gotta wait on those. Um, now the, <clears throat> the apples. What are the apples? Do I not have a hazelnut? Pretty sure I have a hazelnut somewhere. Uh, bulletin board? Where did the... Oh, the oh, bulletin board, okay. 
I'm pretty sure I have a hazelnut somewhere. I'm pretty sure I found one. Uh, what would a... If I were a tiger trout, there we go. What do I get for this? 30 bait. Very nice, actually. I can use that for the crab pots. And then... Truffle. Which would be... No, fodder as well, actually. Man, we're banging out these bundles, though. Heater. Oh, yeah. I need to make sure I buy another heater before fall. Or before winter. Buy another heater. For the animals. And where did the truffle go? Truffle goes here. Noise. Oh yeah, I gotta swing by guesses as well. See if I can buy a Mackie roll. Hopefully I can. We're really, really close. The only thing I'm not... I realized this last night. The only thing I'm not going to be able to get is a Nautilus shell. That's the one thing I don't think I'll have before winter. Other than that, I think I'm actually doing pretty good. Okay, so Harvey wants a sardine, uh, which we will do. Um, two squid kids today. Hmm. That may or may not be possible. Like, where, where do squid kids spawn? Let me see where. Squid kid. Tom about level just anywhere from level eighty down. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna find two squid kids. I also must make sure that I um, swing by planes and get my pickaxe as well. So do I see a sardine? There's a sardine. Do I see a hazelnut somewhere? I thought I had a hazelnut. If I were a hazelnut, where would I be? Alright, let's check screenshots. Is there one on the farm anywhere? Close over here. Um, don't see anything. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll take a quick peek up the mountain road just to see. Is there anything up here? Screenshot time. Time is a wasting. There is a hazelnut. I see. There's two hazelnuts actually. That's useful. Let's grab these guys. Okay. Still have way too much stuff in my inventory. But that's all right. So let's uh, let maybe let's go grab the pickaxe right away before I, before I forget. Um. Let me leave a hazelnut somewhere as well. Maybe I'll leave a hazelnut in here. So we'll go back to the community center. Let me sell some stuff. Let me sell the mayo. Um, have I shipped a goat cheese already? I feel like I probably have. Yes, I have. Okay. All right. So let's keep this somewhere. Put that there. I do want to go to... I'm just going to dump stuff everywhere. I don't even care at this point. Uh, I do want to go to the beach and get some crab pots down. Maybe I'll just swing stuff in the bar right now. I feel like I'm totally wasting my day, but... This is the coop. That there. That there. Okay. Got a cheese. Again, I can use these cheese. Cheese are light gifts, which I can kind of use to bridge the gap until I get some pomegranates really popping. Tiger trout. Do I have any space in any of the other chests? I don't think I do. So it goes here for now. My chests are such a disaster. All right, so we got to hit the beach. We got to hit Harvey. We got to go to Gus. We've got to... Uh, Maybe let's swing by Cl or sorry, Clint. Let's swing by Cl swing by Clint's first, and hopefully at some point I can make it up to the mine. And uh, let's talk to Clint. What do you need? Just saying hi. Give him my pickaxe though. Okay. 
Now let's go see... Let's grab this, uh... There's Leah, I should talk to Leah. Where are you at, Leah? Where are you going? Come back here. There we go. So we're gonna swing by... Gus first, actually. Let's go this way. Swing by Gus. Swing by Harvey. Oh, what up, Gus? Let me talk to Gus first. Alright, what do you have today? Any Mackey roll? No, we got trout soup today. Can buy these recipes if I need to. Kind of trying to hold off. I don't even have a kitchen yet, so there's really no point. But a Mackey roll will get me the community center a bit faster. So that's kind of important. I did see Evelyn down there. Probably should have gone to talk to her, but that's alright. Where's Harvey? Where's Harvey at? Huh. Okay, so, is he over here? Sometimes he hangs out over here somewhere. No. Okay, well, hopefully he's going to the saloon tonight. Because if not, I have no idea. I may not be able to get to him. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Now well, let's just talk to him first. And then deliver that. Beautiful. There's another 120. Uh, now we're going to go and put the crab pots in the ocean because I need um, some ocean forgeables. Oops. At some point I really need to fix that bridge. No, honestly, if I saw a forgeable I needed, I'd fix it right now. Now, I don't think it matters where the crab pots go. Like, I don't think... I don't know that it matters. I don't know if it matters. That's where they're going. Okay. Uh, what's next? I do need to catch 20 lake fish, but I've got time to do that. Um, I'm just going to put the hazelnut in the community center and finish that bundle. That'll probably give me some fall seeds or something. I was hoping to plant more seeds, plant more pumpkins today too, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's Emily. I haven't talked to Emily. So I guess we'll go to the community center, drop off the hazelnut. We'll go to the mines. Um, see if I can find a couple squid kids. Squid kids. Some squid children. And uh, then we'll fish, I guess. See what we can get for fish. Baby. Nice. All right, we're getting there. Getting real close. We are getting real close. Talk to Maru. What up, Maru? I'm gonna marry you one day. Don't feel like working tomorrow. Well, good news. I'm gonna be rich in this game, so if you marry me, you won't have to work. <laughs> How's that for a flex? Marry for love? What? No, I'm rich. What you talking about? Demetrius? I really need to uh, get the last dwarf scroll. I can start on the dwarf. What's up, Anthony? All right, uh, squid kids. Do I have a sword here? No, I left it at home, didn't I? Yep, I did. That's okay. It's only five thirty at night. That's okay. We got a few good things done today, at least. Nothing major, unfortunately. I didn't expand the farm. I didn't. Uh, what did I do? Let me look at my list here again. What did I do? I got the crab pots going. So what we're going to say is fall for crab pots. Um, check Gus for Mackie roll. Uh, we did that. We did that. Did, did that. Don't make the seed maker tomorrow. Maybe see about upgrading the house potentially. Getting that kitchen so I can start making stuff. All right, um, let's start to make sure I started recording. Okay, uh, what am I here to grab? It's a uh, hammer in here. That. Okay. I can leave some stuff behind as well. 
Again, no idea where I'm putting stuff. So it's going everywhere. Clay. May as well eat the blackberry, eat the green algae, blah, blah, blah. The bait, I might just... I, I know I need bait for the, um, the crab pots, but I might just buy some from Willy and use this bait on my fishing rod. 20 fish is a lot of fish. Mines. Alright, let's see if I can get a couple of quick skid squid kids. Say that fast six times. I need two. I need my animation cancelling. There we are. Ah, okay, hold on. I'm just getting confusing myself here. And with my new gorgeous gold pickaxe. It's gonna make hitting rocks much easier. But it is mildly bad luck, so... The thing is, I never find squid kids on these levels. Like, it's always levels that are further down. So I'm kind of tempted to... Uh... just go further down. I mean, I'm here now, so I might as well keep going, I guess. Maybe I just shouldn't bother with this quest. Honestly, what's it going to do? It's going to give me some friendship. Like, right now, the fish is probably more important, because I need the fish for a recipe. Protection's out of date. Well, whose fault's that? Aren't you supposed to update automatically? Okay, yeah, this is weak. This is real lame. Let's try a different level. Let's go to... Let's try 100. Yeah, the, luck's, the luck is definitely getting me today. Take the hits. Okay, I don't want level 100 because that level sucks. Let's try 105. This is such a waste of time, honestly. This day is just been a complete write-off. Okay, uh, you know what? I give up. Uh, the Slave Monsters goes away. I lose it. Whatever. Um... Let's uh, put some stuff in the furnaces. What can I even throw in there right now? Gold. Sure, let's throw in some gold. Uh, you know what, actually, let's throw in some quartz first, then we'll throw in gold after. All right, then we'll do a little bit of, fish a little bit of fishing and now it's the end of the day. What a waste. What a waste. I don't know. Let's just fish. Twenty lake fish. Not gonna get twenty lake fish right now, but we will get some lake fish. 
And really, I think the real lake fish are the friends we made along the way. So I'll try and finish this lake fish quest tomorrow. Um, make a few bucks from the fish as well. Get that over with. Make sure I keep checking crab pots, gotta keep checking... There's a lot of things I just have to make sure I'm doing every day, but the good news is that hopefully, if things go well, I'll only have to do them every day for a short while. So... Like, eventually, I hope they'll either, I'll either get a Mackie roll from Gus, or I will get the kitchen and just make one. Um, the reason I was hoping to get a Mackie roll from Gus and not have to make upgrade the house is because a Mackie roll is not going to cost me $10,000, whereas the house upgrade will. So, hoping that I can get one from Gus. Um, and then I won't have to worry about the community center for... Like, that, that'll be the last kind of thing that I... I think that's the last thing I don't have a hope of hope of getting at the moment kind of thing. Like, my only chance is to get... Um, is to get a Mackie roll from Gus. Or I have to upgrade the house. And I guess if I'm going to get close to finishing the community center... I guess, like, by the end of fall... Um, if it's, like, the 20th fall or something, or, like, you know, 24th maybe... I'll have to get I'll have to get Robin to upgrade the house at that point, so that I have the Mackie roll early in winter in case I get the forage items and the Nautilus shell right first day of winter if I get lucky, right? So, just trying to make sure that I'm generally um, ready to finish the community center as soon as winter starts and I can get the winter forageables and the Nautilus shell and whatever else. Although, actually, if I get lucky in the greenhouse, which I will hopefully have in a week and a bit in-game. Um, whoops, crap. Oh, I need to go. Yike. If I get lucky with the greenhouse, um... Uh, for five, one, two, three, four, five... If I get lucky with the stuff in the greenhouse, I'll have the forageables, so I'm, all, I'm only going to need, if all goes well, the Nautilus shell. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed I can pull that off. All right, is there anything I want to sell? I want to sell the red mushroom. Anything else I want to sell? I could probably sell the chub and the bullhead, why not? Uh, I think everything else I kind of want to keep, I think. Diamond. I should probably start keeping some diamonds too, because I need to befriend people. Wine. That can go in the community center. Oh, that's a starfruit wine. That's not going in the community center. Let me make a uh, like a grape wine or something, or like a salmonberry wine. What do I have that's cheap? Blackberry? Does blackberry make wine? How many blackberries do I need? Uh, blackberries. I need four. How many do I have? I have five. Okay, well, let's just make a cheap blackberry wine then. There we go. So that will fix the community center problem. And I can sell this starfruit wine. Which will be great. Didn't make a lot of money that day, that's alright. That's okay. Alright, day four of fall. Foist things foist. Check the fortune teller. Good luck today. Maybe I should do the fishing today. Or maybe I should make a point of doing the fishing today. Linus is giving me a large mouth. Thank you, Linus. All right, let's grab the milking pail. And let's milk. Pet you, pet you. Pet and milk you. Pet and milk you. Missed pet. Pet and milk you. Pet you. Find the duck. I must keep petting the duck because I need that duck feather. So much in this world depends on me getting that duck feather. Call it to eggs though, that's good. And I've got two um, things in here now. So I mean, let's put in another large goat milk, that's sweet. Let's put in the milks. Very nice. Okay. 
Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a little bit more organized, a little bit more uh, chest organizing today as well. Thank you for the lurk variant. Ooh, a salmon berry. I should have made salmon berry wine instead of blackberry wine. Oh well. You, you hope that pomegranate tree grows before <laughs> before winter, doesn't I'm screwed. Uh, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I want to put stuff that I want to keep. So what do I need? Okay, I need like a processing chest. So I'm gonna make this. Let's make this one green. But I need to have more than one stuff to keep chest. So let's make those like blue or something. Stuff to keep. I'll, I'll move it, but stuff to keep. I'm also gonna need like a seeds chest or something too. <laughs> Inventory is such a disaster. Oh my word. Okay. Um, what least I can do is move some of the stuff I know that I, I can move. So like, let me move the bars. Let's move like the raw materials that I might need. Um, let's move these guys over to this chest. There's not going to be room. That's okay. We'll we'll adjust. So this is going to be like raw materials. Uh, the sap. Um, and then I will pull out the not raw, the stuff I don't want to have in this chest specifically. So those three, that can stay there, I guess. Winter root can go in a seed maker. Probably should actually. I should make a seed maker real quick though. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, what's the recipe for a seed maker? Seed maker is 25 wood, 10 coal, 1 gold bar. Let's make two. Bunch of wood. Why is it? I forgot already. Coal. 10 coal. Ooh, 10 coal? Oh. Let's make one. Ooh, artisan achievement, nice. Okay, I'm gonna put the seed maker down somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, that can be that, that can be there. Um, seed maker can go, I guess we'll put it up here above the recycler. And we're gonna throw the winter root into the seed maker to get more winter seeds to kind of increase our chances of uh, increase our chances of um, you know getting stuff so I think this is the keep chest it looks like um, I need a gifting chest I should just make another chest gonna be burning up through a lot of wood but that's okay All right, so the gifting chest, let's go like purple with the gifting chest. Okay, so that means uh, everything I'm using for gifting. So how many red peppers do I need? Um, let's see, where would that be? Is that a summer thing? Yes, I need five. So all but five can go into the gifting chest. Um, where are the tulips? There they are. Those can go in the gifting chests. Let me put my milking pail away. Let me sell the starfruit one. Uh, the stuff I have on me right now is for processing, probably. Um, what else do I have for gifts? I mean, I guess all the sweet peas. Like, what do I need for sweet peas right now? I need two. So, I mean... There we go. That's gifts for Evel or for Sandy. Um, the real standards? Okay. Uh, um, Anything else that I have in here for gifts? I don't know. Well, I do, I'm going to put this garlic in the seed maker, though. Now, where do I have seeds? I guess they're going in here for now. And where do I put the rest of the seeds? Oh, 
So I thought I had bought some, uh, didn't I trade for winter seeds? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. Where would I put them? Maybe I left them in the desert. I freaking hope so. I'm pretty sure I didn't die in the desert, did I? No, I don't think I did. Um. Okay, well this is a good, no, we're getting, we're, it's a good start. It's a good start. Uh, all right, what are my plans for today? Crab pots, check Gus, did the seed maker. I need to make melon seeds as well. Um, at some point I need to make another run to the desert. But for now, let's go try and get some more lake fish. Let's see if I can finish that quest so I can get the... Uh, can say there. See if I can get the quest for the ooh, a hazelnut. Get the quest for the lake fish so I can get the recipe for the farm computer, which I need. Oh wow, hazelnuts galore. Normally I have a really hard time finding excuse me, finding hazelnuts. Uh, what should I throw in this chest? How about some more quartz? Oop, there we go. Alright. Bubbles. Got the hype emotes in chat tonight. Love it. Star the hype is Stardew is what it is. It's all about that Stardew hype. Speaking of hype, if anyone's familiar with uh, PHP programming, let me know. I might have some questions to ask. Yeah, I'm trying to set up a, uh, a web-based Stardew Valley perfection inventory tracking system. Um, it's coming along. It's going slowly because I've never done, done anything like it before. And, and of course, as with most things that I do, I spend half the time figuring out... Half the time figuring out how to set up things to be able to figure out how to do the thing. So we're we based. Um, so like, okay, so I'm doing this website up, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's literally gonna be like, probably two pay two web pages. So it's not like a massive website or anything, but um, using PHP to connect to a Postgres database. Um, so I had to figure, I had to set up a Postgres, so fortunately I already had a Postgres database on my server I have at home. Because I use one for my, for DaVinci Resolve, because DaVinci Resolve, uh, the video editor that I use, <coughs> can use a database to store the project files so I can share project files between computers. It's actually really nice. So when I'm editing my Stardew videos, I can edit on my laptop or edit on my desktop, and it doesn't matter which one I'm, where I'm editing. It's great. Um... But that means I'm not using MySQL, which, of course, is the popular one. Um, the other thing, of course, is that um, having to set up a web server, normally you'd use Apache. I'm not using Apache, because I don't need Apache. Apache is pretty big and powerful. I just need something small and light and quick. So I'm not using Apache. So figure out the different web server, getting that going on my Linux, on my Linux server. Got all that running. Got PHP installed and working. That was a bit of a faff. And then I could start programming, and that's after designing the database and everything else. It was a whole thing. Did a web page in high school, all this code, and a single link to a more informed site about jets. Yeah, that, that's my first website wait story, kind of. We had to do, uh, we had, um, I think it was called Career and Personal Planning, is what the class was called. Um... It's where they basically teach you how to, like, think stuff through. And, uh... So you had to come up with a goal. And then you had that semester to accomplish your goal. So you had to figure out a plan, how you were going to do it, how you are going to figure it out, whatever. Um, so it was my semester-long project I did in about three days because I just went, at the time, to my internet service provider. This was a long time ago. And, uh, site so with lots of 10 assignments. Nice. 
I just went to my ISP and said, hey, I want a website. They're like, oh, let's give you some web space. There you go. Knock yourself out. And I had to figure out how to write HTML. And this was way back in the day. This was before, like, CSS. This was before... Um, it was j literally just HTML. This was a long time ago. Before the web was... You know, this was before Node. Before PHP. Before Ruby on Rails. Um... A long time ago but yeah i got i did it i made my first website it was ugly as hell but uh you know made it happen and i've had a website pretty much ever since to be honest with you like i've had except for a small a, for a short break in the late 90s i have had a website of my own since whenever my website went up 1990 six I guess if I'd known about the in URL index of subject <laughs> all right bam biome balance 1500 kind of want to do more fishing though Let's, I don't want to waste these bubbles Get a little bit more money from it so yeah yeah I had a short break in there where I didn't have a website but I had to cut down results for exactly what you want yeah, for sure. Well, the thing I like about back in, like, the thing I like about doing websites from scratch, and by from scratch, I mean, like, from scratch, and not using a CMS or not using, you know, like a WYSIWYG editor or something like that, is that you can keep, you, you know exactly every last piece of code that goes into your website, and you can keep it super fast. Like, I had a, for a while, I had a, an image gallery website, that was just uh, no pet for the win, exactly. Like I had for a while, I had this um, <clears throat> this image website up, just like of stuff of like some of my photography, and it was like so it basically had <clears throat> a few different categories of pictures, and then it just had you know forward and back buttons, and it would load the picture. It had th had like thumbnails and whatever else, and um, I think it was like three k of code for this whole thing. I just did it in JavaScript and just said, you know, and just did, like, it was super, like, it was super fast, super zippy, works in all the, every browser. Like, whereas now, if you want to have an image gallery, it's going to be, you know, PHP in a database, but it's going to be, like, <laughs> probably megs, <clears throat> probably megs of code that you're getting your, your, your viewers to load, right? So... My websites were always super... I mean, I use WordPress now for my websites. If you visit paultgg.com, uh, that's a WordPress site because I got too lazy to maintain the site by hand. Um, and I figured one day I should probably start using... <coughs> should probably start using a, a CMS for my website. I started using Joomla. That was my first CMS. Typed in anagram in Google. It asked me, did you mean Nagaram? Um... So yeah, I uh, used Joomla to begin with, and then Joomla was just like, hey, what am I doing? This is way crazy overkill. So uh, I've been using WordPress ever since. It does the job. I mean, the one advantage of having a pre-made website is that um, automating stuff is way easier. So like I have my uh, Twitter feed automatically show up on my website. I have my YouTube videos automatically show up on my website. Like Stuff like that's way easier. Okay, what should I be doing today? I, I feel like fishing is kind of a waste of time. I know it's not because I'm making a little bit of money, but I caught the 20 lake fish. I still need to get Iridium. So for Fall f fall 5 is Elliot's birthday as well. I need to make sure I give Elliot a gift. Maybe, maybe I'll do a Skull Cave run tomorrow. Crab pots. I must check crab pots. I put posts, so I meant pots. And I gotta check out Gus. Okay, let's catch like one more. <laughs> How many of us wish we were the first to discover these funny searches? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so let's go to the beach. Check the crab pots. Let me grab... I don't have any bait left, so we'll go buy some bait from... 
What's his face from Willy? Ooh, nice. Iron ore in the garbage can. Clint, what are you doing throwing out iron ore? Oh, whoops, sorry, hit the microphone there. Uh, and excitingly, we also have our first special order done. So that means we're gonna get the farm computer recipe, which I'm in no rush to make. Ooh, nice, artifact. Might give that to Gunther on the way back. I'm just gonna check the other bridge to the other side and see. Are there any forgeables I want over here? Any forgeables I... Any forgeables I want over here? I just want the one thing to finish the... I've got urchins. I need an oyster, though. I think I have the urchin, don't I? I'm pretty sure I have an urchin already. Or I've done that. Yeah, I got the urchin already. I just need an oyster. That's the one thing I'm not... Like, hopefully I'll get it in the crab pot, but... <clears throat> if I don't... And I haven't so far. I've got a crayfish, though. Or a lobster. I need that for recipes. What up? Uh, actually, I'm going to sell this fish right to you. Um, let me buy... Let me sell... Let me sell. Sell, sell, sell. I'll keep the carp for food, maybe, for now. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, I'm going to keep the lobster. Uh, let's buy, like... A hundred... Of that. And that's all we're doing, because I'm not going to buy the iridium rod yet. Okay. Let's put some bait back in the crab pots. There we go. Let's, and let's use these bubbles. I still, I still need to catch some ocean stuff, although I think all the ocean stuff I need to catch is all morning stuff, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Whoops, that was too far. No, we're good. Wouldn't mind catching another sardine, though. Wouldn't mind catching a sardine to replace the sardine I gave to Harvey. I mean, I'm pretty sure they, the only reason I had the sardine was for a quest, but... There's a sardine. Sweet. Um... I forgot to put bait on my fishing rod. Should probably do that. Although with bubbles, I probably don't need it. Okay, so let's go... I just want to make sure I don't forget to do anything today. So let's go and see Gus right now. See if he has a Mackie roll for me. <laughs> Zardines. Um, let's see if Gus has a Mackie roll. I don't even... I don't think I've talked to anybody today, have I? There's Emily... There's Evelyn. Make sure to keep talking with Evelyn. There's Caroline. Caroline! There's Lewis. He can wait. Um, can I do this if Emily's here? <laughs> Sardines. Uh, no, I can't. Can I not? Oh, there's Gus. What up, Gus? Let me talk to you now. Ooh, I just realized, sweet Caroline. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. I just realized, I think I sold all my melons. I don't think I have any melons left. I should have some in the chest somewhere, so I can put one of those in a seed maker and then regrow one. Hopefully I don't screw that up. Uh, do you have a macro parsnip soup? Not today. All right. I might have to upgrade the kitchen. But we'll see. I have time. Let me not panic. All right, so... Crab pots might have to wait. If I'm going to the desert tomorrow, I'm going to do it in the morning and screw Elliot's birthday. Although I don't want to miss... Um, yeah, maybe I will make a trip and check that stuff out. So let me make some melon seeds. I need to do that. Talk with Alex while I'm here. Ooh, there's a quest. What's, the, what's this quest? Please be a sardine. A base of crab species slay four crabs. All right. I do need to do some mining. Because I do need Caesar, Caesar Deans, Caesar Deans. I do need to do some mining. Um, what up, Vincent? Let me talk to you. I need more resources for sprinkling. That's another thing I haven't done. Is I've been wanting to expand the farm, but I haven't done that because I haven't been on the farm. Hmm. I feel like I'm just doing all the wrong things. When when with the one relative who is half Greek cannot digest garlic. 
All right, let me find a melon. The melon goes in the seed maker. The seeds go... Only one garlic seed? That's kind of not great. That goes in there. I'm going to put those on there to save the inventory. I'm going to put a sardine in the things to keep, which I guess is blue. That one's full, though. That one's not. Um... Put the mussels in there as well. So those guys go in there with the seeds and stuff. Things to keep. I should start gifting Emily, maybe? Not sure. I need a lobster for something. I'm pretty sure there's like a lobster recipe, so maybe I'll throw the lobster inside. Diamond. Lobster. Oh, it's full. Um. Okay, let's take the eggs out. I'll keep, like, one. Put the eggs back in the barn. Probably should have swung by uh, the museum and dropped off that artifact. That's all right. Sweet, we got three melon seeds, so that's good. One of those is going to be for Ginger Island. Scrambled. I've gotten into making omelets again. Actually, I haven't made one in a few weeks, but yeah, I have, uh, I have been enjoying omelets. The trick for me is, um, um, how many anchovies do I need? The trick for me with the omelets is, uh, chili powder. That's my trick. Oh, I'm going to sell these anchovies, I think. And the diamond. I don't kind of want the money. Or maybe I technically don't need the money right now. Well, I kind of do, though. Anchovy, anchovy. Sell that. Can't stand eggs sunny side up. Yeah, I'm not a big sloppy yolk guy. It's not really my bag. Hmm. This chest is full. How about... Because this is going to be gifting stuff, right? Um, okay, well, for now... I can go there. I, mean, maybe I could put some, some of these gems in the gifting chest as well. Because really, what am I going to do with them? For, like, friendship stuff. Um, however, the... What was I going to move? The mussels. Well, that's kind of for crafting stuff, too, I guess. Uh, oh, the ruby. The rubies can go in the other chest. They can go in this chest right here. Because that is for the desert. Um, what else do I need to do? Don't know. I'm going to leave that artifact in there, too. Why not? So I guess I can... Oh, I can drop off the maple seed. Wherever that goes. In here? Nope. In here. What? I know I've got them somewhere. Where are they? Oh, it'd be here. There it is. Okay. Over medium hard scramble is the way to go. I mean, to be fair, I'm not really a big egg guy in the first place, but, um, yeah. Who eats liquid yolks? Diane. Okay, um, what am I doing? I guess I just go to the mines and try and find four lava crabs. I could also do some lava crab fishing. Um, let me just see what I need, because, I mean, basically, for more sprinklers, I'm so screwed. Because honestly, I could make 22 more sprinklers, which is fine, but I'd have to actually take the time. I need to make more tappers. I have, and I'd have to take the time, clear land, and get stuff put down. Like, Which, I mean, I guess I could do, but it's already the fourth of fall. Like, what am I going to plant? I can't plant pumpkins. I mean, I could plant pumpkins, I guess. Uh, it's the fourth of fall. If I plant a pumpkin today, or tomorrow, I guess, since it's not happening today, 
Um, if I plant a pumpkin on the 5th of fall, it would finish on the 18th, so it's really too late to do anything interesting, because I think the last day you can plant a pumpkin and have it finish is the 15th. If I were to plant a pumpkin with speed growth, it still wouldn't be finished. No, finish the day late. So, I mean, unless I just use this extra patch of farm to um, just plant some extra pumpkins, like, um, and just to have an extra batch of pumpkins that I can sell or keg for money or whatever. Um, maybe I do that. So let's make, like, 10, maybe? Let's make, let's put down 10 sprinklers. Um, could hoe up the, the, hoe up the area too, I guess. It's gonna kind of screw me for, no, it doesn't fit there. That's way too far. What am I doing? And that's not far enough. What am I? Oh my word. What am I even doing right now? What am I doing with my life? There we go. Okay. And then here. And then here. And then here. And then there. And then maybe there, I guess. We also need another scarecrow. And that's another 80 pumpkins I could plant. And then just kind of make it happen. So we could do that, I guess. Um, I have seven. <laughs> I'll save it. So I'm going to say by 73. So on the fall, on the f fall five. Delia's birthday. Crab Pasha and Mary McMillan Seeds did that. Uh, by 73 melon seeds. Best eggs, French toast, pancakes, waffles. I'm definitely a waffle guy. Saturdays are waffle days in my house. 73, uh, sorry, pumpkin seeds, not melon seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Um, you may scythe. You know what? Actually, I think I am gonna, <laughs> the Waffle King. I am indeed. Um, I might need to, uh, well, A, I need to scythe up this area a bit. I want to make sure there's nothing in the way that's going to grow over my crops. Then, I guess I just need to, like, hoe everything. I'm not going to water it, but I do kind of want to hoe it so that, uh... Um, I even have time or the energy. I do want to hoe it so that it'll be a bit less hoeing and watering tomorrow, basically. Ah. Wow, it's dark. Oops, that's not what I want to do. It's okay, I'm not going to waste any energy on that. Oh, speaking of energy, let's eat, uh, what's that, carps for 23. Literally, well, I guess I can eat the blackberry. It's a free, free up an inventory spot. Maybe I'll eat a carp too, why not? Okay. Nice, alright. So the hope is that some of these spots at least will stay watered 
for tomorrow or say hold it hold, so, so tomorrow will hopefully in the morning some of them will stay hoed which means they'll be watered by the sprinklers and then i won't have to water them tomorrow when i when i plant other 80 pumpkins although i could just plant the these seven right now like why not Um, what's that? Rhubarb at spring. Winter seeds. I gotta find my winter seeds. I don't know where I put them. I, ho I Hopefully they're in the chest in, uh, in the desert. Because if they're not, I have no, no idea where they are. Yo-ho-ho in a bottle of rum. Alright. So that's it for the night. That's probably pretty good. Let's, uh, go to sleep. And uh, I will grab the milking pail for tomorrow. I guess if I'm if it's if it's best luck, I might just go right to the desert. Spice berry wine. Hmm. I could put that in the community center, I guess. Or I could sell it. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Desert horse with no name. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. <clears throat> I feel like I'm just kind of spinning my tires. I don't feel like I'm being super productive. What do we have? What's the luck? Good luck. Okay, so I should really make a move to get to the desert today. Uh, just going to look at the traveling cart for today, see what we've got. Um, one already more for 800. It is a game after all. I know, I should probably make these games more fun than I do. Mead Tulip. Nothing I need there. Alrighty. So I'm going to ignore the museum. I hate to ignore Gus, but... Ooh, excuse me, 500 gold. Farm computer, nice. Beauty. Uh, where's my processing chest? Let's process something here. Let's process, um... Oh, I should be throwing hops in, in the things inside. Uh, let's throw maybe, like, a salmon berry and a blackberry and... a corn, I guess, into here. Ah! There we go. Fry about the animals. Let me do that real quick. And some of my let's say my bok choy is done. Grab these. Need more tappers as well. Rotas something in the rain. Fire from the sky. Who's wrong? Uh, six, six. There we go. Pet milk. Oops. Pet, 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 milk. No. Uh, where is the duck? This duck is being real sus. And I really need this duck to give me a fat duck feather. Like, super bad. Like, disgusting. Like, it's pretty ridiculous how badly I need this duck to give me a duck feather. It's a little bit silly, if I'm honest. Any milk in here? Yep, alright, let's make a couple of cheeses. Okay, let's check the fruit cave. Just do I need to check the fruit cave? No, I'm done that bundle now. Got an orange though. That's sweet. I probably need an orange for something. I would imagine. Uh, okay, gonna leave the apple tree till tomorrow. Should really grab the bok choy. Not going to, but I probably should. Uh, let's drop an orange in there. Let's put a hop in there. Alright, so what are we doing for gifts? We're going to use cheese for gifts. Um, can put those guys in there. Uh, and I guess I'm just going to sell the mayo. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I should harvest the bok choy and replant something, but... 
I mean, I guess technically, as long as I make it home in time. But no, you know, I should I should not mess around. I should go to the desert. Let's go to the desert. I hate to do it. I hate to delay the pumpkins even more. But honestly, whatever. Take the coffee with us. Take the rubies. Food. Bombs. Carp. Hey, what's up, Dom? Not going to be staying since I go to bed very soon. But tomorrow is my first exam of exam season. EU laws on the menu tomorrow after I'm done. I still have three more to do. Nice, man. Well, good luck on your exam. Thanks for stopping in. Hope that everything goes well with your exam. I'm sure you'll kill it. Stop back in. Let me know how, how it went. I'm going to sell the Spiceberry wine, too. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it for the community center. Rocky terrain seems the most random of any terrain in these older games. Not as symmetrical. Thank you. You have just stopped by. No worries. Basically a take-home exam in a way. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay. Is there anything I'm... Oh, I need to sell the mayonnaise. And then... Uh, I am, however, going to take a gift for Sandy. Uh, gift chest is the purple chest. Let's grab a sweet pea. Let's go see Sandy. I'm going to grab the cactus fruit as well, because that'll be good for food. I'm going to get wrecked like I did last time. Oh. Forgot about that. You know what else I didn't do? I didn't grab my slammer. Ooh, oops. So I gotta go home anyways. Are my winter seeds here, though? Yes, thank God. Okay. Um... I'll update you probably in 23rd or later since I'm also moving after my exams. Sweet. Alright, looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to the day. How many chair? I got 14. I'm gonna buy, I gotta go home anyways. Let's buy a couple of artifact troves. Buy one more totem to replace the one I just used. Buy the spicy eel. Buy some more bland in that pink building. Bomb cheese, warp totem desert. Okay, so I'm, I, while I'm here, let's just give what's her face a, a sweet pea. Again, wasting time left and right. There you go. Alright. Head back. We'll go to the mine. We will grab the slammer and then we'll come back and do some uh some stuff. Go on now, bye bye. See you later. See you later, Dom. Have a good one. Good luck on good luck again. Plum. Do I get a plum? I grab it anyways. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna grab it tomorrow. Mines. Slammer. Is there anything I want to leave here? I can leave that. Leave the coal too, why not? In fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's leave behind anything I'm not gonna take with me and use in the mines, so now we're good. Oops. Okay. To the Skull Cavern. Let's see how we do today. It is good luck, so hopefully... And now it's even better luck. So hopefully things go well with the luck. I kind of don't want to use the coffee just yet, but... The good news is that, you know, as soon as I have the greenhouse, I'm going to plant some uh, coffee beans. And I have a, the biggest backpack now, which is nice. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Oh, whoops. Should have taken a screenshot. That was a cock up. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to bomb this, honestly. Where's my bomb? There we go. And we got no 
on the ladder. Let's just keep going. Wow, I am not doing great with my animation canceling today. Getting too excited here. Oh, there's a ruby. I want that. I will take the red mushroom. I don't know if it'll survive. I look, I might just throw it out. That's another thing I should think about doing. I should think about upgrading my trash can. So like, is that when I throw stuff out, at least I'll get a little bit of money for it. Because the cock-up's real, you're not wrong. Yike. Time. Uh, let's see here. Do you remember to ignore bad guys? I am, however, going to eat this. Get my health back up. Thank you. I also keep forgetting to bring stairs. Stairs would be kind of useful right now. Ooh, game slowed down there for a second. What up, Ryan? How's the progress to becoming a billionaire tyrant? Good. Bad. Well, sort of good. Things, will, things, will, the billionaire part will be easier in year two. Oh my word. There we go. The bill, yeah. The make, making the money. Year two, I plan on making all of the monies, but for now, things are pretty slow. <laughs> I'm really not doing this very well, but you know what, hey, I think the real being bad at video games for the friends we made along the way. Okay. Billionaire tirade. Is there a ladder somewhere already? Is that what I'm, why I'm not getting one? No. All right, let's keep cracking. The, qu the real question, so here's the thing. So I want to have six iridium bars for um, sprinklers for the greenhouse. I also want, oh my goodness. This is going poorly. I also want to have five Iridium Bars ready for Ginger Island. And I want to have another five Iridium Bars for um, to upgrade my pickaxe to an Iridium pickaxe. So the question becomes, do I think about upgrading to an Iridium pickaxe? first and kind of take my chances with Ginger Island. I feel like I kind of have to um, wait. On a different note, uh, oh, up in the headphones. Thankfully the purchase was worth it. Nice. On a different note, they're very tiring. They're very tiring? How do you mean tiring? Like, like super heavy or something? Like what do you mean? Oh my word. See, this is where I would probably just... Um, stare away if I had stairs. Oh my goodness, because these things just absolutely destroy me. They're very, very clear and super upfront with the mids and lows. Interesting. So I guess... Interesting. That's super interesting, actually. Jump. I think I'm gonna eat something here. Uh, let's eat uh, some carp. Because I could eat the chocolate cake. Kind of a waste, though. When do we replace Jojo? <laughs> With our own company? We want to become the multi-zillionaire capitalists? 
I still use my Pro 280s. That 808 sound like thin, like a little thing in the mix. New headphone ears are like, <laughs> what? Surprise, mother! TGG Industries. For Paul, by Paul. Ooh, spice bear, or spicy eel. Oh crap, speaking of which, let's eat uh, this guy. Well, considering it's a good, oh my goodness, what is going on? That was a waste of a cake. Considering it's a good luck day and I've had spicy eel, I don't feel like I've been having especially good luck. Guess you could say he's very bipolar. Okay, we have a problem. We have a problem. Panic. Do not plan dying in these mines. Happy eel from from McDo. Are puns illegal? Can I ban puns? No, you can't ban for puns. The thing about puns is, is that, I mean, I'm not mad at him. Oh goodness. I'm certainly not creative enough to come up with a lot of puns, but I mean, for people who are, good on you, I guess. Puns of steel. <laughs> puns of steel. All right. Okay, well, I'm nearly dead again, uh, and I just ate a spicy eel. No, I didn't. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna eat one right now. Let's do it. The bad news is I'm kind of, I don't have any other food on me, so that's kind of not great. But this has been a pretty crappy skull cavern run, to be honest. I guess Paul Dad didn't know, I knew you didn't appreciate my jokes. so bad at video games you guys like why am I just so bad at things all right drop shaft yeah like this like like this like this sort of thing like what the heck is level is just completely just slimes and serpents and it's like man get out of here with that how's the music production also bad uh, the song I've been working oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. The song I've been working on, um, kind of giving up on it. I know that Blackberry Jam has been trying to convince me to like keep working at it and try and make it better and stuff, but I mean, it wouldn't be me if it wasn't disappointing. So, um, it's still it's gonna come out in July, come hell or high water, which means I have a month. It's good because it's gonna come out. Which I'm gonna put out July fifteenth. So I really don't want to eat another spicy eel, but I might have to eat another spicy eel. Um, so that basically means I have about a month before it's gotta be posted. That you know, for better or for worse. So slander is illegal in this chat. Um. Yeah. Hell in the high water, name sounds familiar. <laughs> oh my word. Um anyway, the point is that uh, yeah, it's gotta come out. I'm gonna put it out, whether or not it's done. Um so you know. I really don't want to deal with these guys right now. So I might splash out. And do this. Like so. So I don't have to deal with them. Other than that, I haven't touched it. I looked on it a little bit today, and I uh, haven't touched music in a while. So. Well, crap. Guess I'm eating a spicy eel. I 
better start gathering resources. It's honestly at 6.50 p.m. And I don't really see myself getting a lot of uh, iridium today. I've got two. Heavens. So yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll pick it up again. I got some other stuff that I have. And I have like a, I still have my big list of ideas, so there's always stuff I could work on. But uh, self-hate and self-discrimination is healthy. Come on, it's low calories and make you feel full without any regret. Perfect for weight loss. <laughs> Dang God, that's, that's <laughs> darker than my farmer tan. I do quite regularly have existential crises about continuing to do music. Where I kind of ask myself, do I really, like, why what am I even doing? But, uh... Yeah. So I'm probably just going through one of those again. But, uh, oh my goodness. These are, but, what time is it? 8 p.m.? The day's been kind of a bust, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's kind of been rather disappointing in the Skull Cavern run. It's hard to believe that I've been to level 100 before. <clears throat> But yeah, I still have lots of ideas and stuff, so I might just be kind of burnt out on it and frustrated and stuff, so maybe once I've taken a bit of a break, I can... That's why the Stardew's been kind of nice. It's been nice to be... kind of have a nice chill thing to do on stream. I mean, I say chill, because I, <laughs> I definitely make Stardew more stressful than it needs to be. But, um... Um... It's been something... It's, it's been nice to have, have a bit of a break, I'm not gonna lie. Just to kind of give myself a chance to reset and... At one point I would have said that, you know, I have, I just, I do it for myself, I do it because I enjoy doing it and whatever. Oh, there's a drop shaft. Um, ooh, that's, I'm gonna die. Do I not have anything I can eat? Guess we're having a spicy eel. Um, and I need to get back to doing that. I need to get back to doing it just for myself you know, for better or for worse kind of thing. Whether it's good or not or whatever, I just do that. Whenever I'm depressed, I listen to Playboy Cardi to put my mind in a different place. In this instance, what the fuck is he even saying? Why does he sound 12? <laughs> Let's grab the gold, why not? There we go. Okay, well, we got a little bit of it. Enough to make it two two bars, which is actually not oh my goodness, not enough um, for me to make all the iridium sprinklers I need. You know what? This guy's getting bombed. Oh my goodness, everything's going badly. Okay, I gotta leave this mine. I have literally no food. Nothing I can eat except for the red mushroom, which will remove energy. Um, I gotta get out of here. Uh, when you have all the ideas you can possibly try with a song, release it, and someone comes up with a version you did not imagine. Maybe it's a good time to leave the mine. Yeah. Comes up with a version you did not imagine. Damn, this guy's so much better than me. I should stop making music. That's literally how I feel, to be honest with you. Run. Keep running. Keep running. Okay, well, we got uh, 14 Iridium. Good. That was really bad. That was real disappointing. I was hoping to get better further than that. Like, I, I'm not, like, I'm never going to get zillions of Iridium, but I was hoping to get more than that. Dang. Uh, may as well trade for some more spicy eels. 14 is greater than 2. I mean, it's true. It's true. It's better than nothing. So a couple more spicy eels for next time. I'll leave the coffee here as well. Anything else I want to leave behind? I don't think so. I mean, I guess the other good news too is I'll have time to go back, get the Iridium in. Because I should have five bars now. So that's good. I'll almost have enough to cover the uh, the greenhouse. Hopefully I can get it in another through one more run. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb, dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Yeah, you're not wrong. 
So we'll quickly pop up to the mines, throw in the ritty. It's three bars. And I guess I'll throw in some growl as well. And we're also going to take that stuff home and that stuff home. And uh, that can stay and that can stay. That's probably it. Both of my daily check boxes were covered by this venture. Speaking of check boxes, as I mentioned to you guys about my Stardew Valley tracking database and website that I'm working on. Yes? Good. When I'm a billionaire, Paul, I'll think of you still. That's about it. <laughs> I'll think of you when I'm a billionaire. That's about it, but I will think of you. Um, all right, let's throw the, the aquamarine, those in there. The diamonds in there. <laughs> I'll think about you now. <laughs> Thank you for the bit variant. Thank you for contributing to my billionaire fund. Uh, coconuts. How many coconuts do I need to keep? Where's the wiki? There's the wiki. Coconut. I need to ship one, just did. Bundle's done. One for Tom Cost Soup, one for Tropical Curry, one for Mango Sticky Rice, one for Desert Toy, and ten. I need to keep the coconuts. All right, uh, let's keep them. Oh, I have a solid coconut in here. Keep that there. Artifact Trolls, we're going to hang on to for later for when we need to somehow get a artifact that we're missing. Plays Venom in the Opera's Think of Me. Uh, Alright, let me dump off the rest of my inventory. Tomorrow's Saturday, so we're still not gifting. Here's the rest of that. <laughs> Thank you for another 49 bits. Appreciate it. Dump all that stuff in there. We have a plum for some reason. I should have, ta I should have taken the Autumn's Bounty and eaten that. Bumped up my defense a little bit. Hit the dog with the hammer. Okay. All right. So a bit of a bust that day. It wasn't great. But hey, you know what? We're only... We only need... I should have four bars now. Five bars now of Iridium. So... More's going to be cloudy. Luck today is... Best luck. Do I go back to the... Do I take some food and go back to the desert today? I don't know. As a billionaire, I'll grow communities. I'll create far lands for people to live in. Then those communities will come to me and go, you made us homeless, you bastard. Bastard. Okay, this is... I need to deal with crops. But first, I'm going to pet the animals. Hey, duck, have you given me a duck feather yet? Like, could you, could you do that? A little bit? It would really be helpful if you gave me a duck feather. Killed Kenny, you bastards! I forgot to bring the... Forgot to bring the milking pail. So we'll grab the milking pail. I should just... I just might just go to the desert. To be perfectly honest with you. Might make another trip out. Need more food, though. That's the only thing. I do need more food. I need to harvest my crops. The moral of the story is don't give Ryan, don't give Ryan a billion dollars. You know, the funny thing about a billion dollars is it is so much money. Like, I don't I don't need a billion like honestly, I do not need a billion dollars. That's the honest truth. Like, it's one of those things where it's like if you gave me if you said, okay Paul, I'm gonna hire you for a million dollars a year. after tax so like way more than a million dollars a year like i i mean i'm gonna be real with you guys like right now i live my life i could easily if i paid off my house like diane and i could both live off like fifty thousand a year you know what i mean like so if you gave me a million a year it's like what am i gonna do with a million bucks a year and on top of that, if you said, okay, I'm going to give you a million dollars a year 
after tax. Like, what that means is, it would still take me a, I'd have, A, I'd have more money than I could know what to, know what to do with. But I would still have, it would still take a thousand years to get to a billion dollars. Like, that is just, that is an insane amount of money. So I just, I just don't know what I would do with, like, with a billion, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with a billion dollars. Like, it just seems, that just seems needless. I feel like I have corn somewhere else. I'm going to put that there. Maybe I'll take this one inside instead. There we go. I think with a billion dollars, you can fund yourself a lifespan of 10,000 years, though. I mean, it's true. It is true. I just, I just don't need it. I'm not going to lie. I just, I just don't need the money. So one of those is going to the community center. The rest I'm just going to dump in here for now. Uh, I'm also going to drop off my oak resin, wherever that goes. Probably in here. And I'm going to drop off my milk pail over here. And then I'm just going to find whatever I want, whatever I could possibly take for food. Um, and we're going to go back to the desert right away. Don't know how much of that stuff I can take with me. Don't know how much of that stuff I can take with me. Uh, I got a plum. can eat that. Want to keep the sardine just in case. Uh, yeah. I would. I should probably have gone to buy some salads. Maybe I'll. Should I? Do I really want to plant the farm today? That's the question. I should. Because it's raining, and I wouldn't have to water anything. Eighty seven seventy three seventy four seventy five seventy six. This is my problem is I get caught up doing like a zillion things and then not doing the things I should be doing. Like going to the to the desert and getting into the mines as far as possible. But, uh, we're gonna go throw the spiced berry wine in the eggplant, speaking of wasting time. We're gonna throw those guys in the community center. We're gonna take the anchor, uh, to the, uh, museum. And we're gonna go buy some salads or something, I don't know. Gates giving that much, oh, uh, become a Futurama bobblehead in water. Gates giving that much of his fortune to those who are in need. Gates, let's take another 50 billion, though. Well, the problem is that, here's the thing, the way that um, the, the economy works um, is that if, if Bill Gates were to sell, or to try to sell, more to the point, how many did I say need for 76 or something? If Bill Gates were to try and just basically sell all of his, because when people say like they're worth something, what they mean is... <clears throat> Not that they have that money in cash in the bank somewhere. What they mean is they have that money in, like, stocks or whatever. Um, so, and exactly. Selling quickly lowers the value. And immediate value is very low. So that's that's the point. That's why these guys don't just try to, like, tank the entire market by selling everything all at once. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, at, these guys absolutely do not need this much money. But, uh... Um... Like, you know, Jeff Bezos can, can afford to pay some more in tax. Um, but yeah, it is definitely like a chicken and egg thing. So, funny story about uh, stonks. So I started doing, uh, for those of you who follow my channel, started doing some stock trading of my own. I was inspired by the whole GameStop thing, which is, which is a whole other thing. But... Um, I was like, man, I should try and, like, you know, I, I know things about certain companies. I should try to uh, buy some stocks of my... What the hell just happened? My chat disappeared. So, yeah, I started buying some stocks. And uh, also, at the same time, started buying some uh, crypto. And I gotta tell ya, I mean, for all the hate that crypto gets, in the past few months... Crypto's done way better. So, money can't buy me love. 
depends how you define love, I guess. All right, so back to the house. We're gonna plant all of the goodies. Although I will quickly pop by the mines and grab my... Uh... Grab my ridi. But, but love can't buy me everything. So anyways, the point is that um, if you gave me a billion dollars, I wouldn't know what to do with it. And uh, and um, yeah, it's really you know billionaires should pay more in tax. Ooh, I should have brought uh, my side with me because that hay there is getting a little close to me. Scythe. All right, let's get these guys planted. Oops. So I'll do this here, try and do it a little bit efficiently. And fail. Whoops. Hope I got the numbers right. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, Uh, scythe. That's what I need. Let's scythe away some of that hay. Oh, let me grab these apples, too. I need apples for recipes. How many apples do I need for recipes? I think I have that here somewhere, don't I? Do I? Don't I? Six. Okay. So I'm going to keep those apples for recipes. We'll put those in the house later. I was about to die when you had that one left. I occasionally can math. Occasionally, the math works. One thing, Paul, it's illegal to simply give large sums of money like that in a lot of instances. So it's not as simple as like, hey, here's a million dollars. It raises concerns. Um, but the black and the black market is a big reason for preventing large sums of money being transferred for no reason. Exactly. Another fantastic thing. So yeah, you do have to be a little bit careful. That being said, billionaires don't need to exist. Uh, Gates children won't be billionaires if they don't want to work. Well. What was I doing in here? Apples. Alright, we don't have room in there. Should probably make another chest. <sighs> I'm just gonna end up burning through all of my wood making chests. That's okay, this one's kind of needed. I need to make sure I have, like, when, when I have a kitchen, I'll have a fridge that I can put food in, but for now. So I got five, I need one more Iridium bar. Of course, it's 2.20 p.m. now. There's probably no point in me going to the desert at this point. So that was a bit of a waste of a day. So let's not go to the desert. Maybe let's uh, go to the ocean. Check the crab pots. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's say, for example, that you could live off $50,000 a year. So you're not going to be, you know, driving million dollar cars and taking million dollar vacations. But let's just say a nice, simple lifestyle. You, you could, and you could live for 50 grand a year right now. 50 hour tax is so easy to live off of. There you go. So the question is, let's say, <clears throat> so if you're like me, if you're like me, um, you're looking at, probably being dead in 40 years let's say maybe 50 if i get lucky and live till i'm 90 but the odds of that happening is pretty slim let's be honest i got the oyster sweet um so the question is let's keep the math nice and simple here let's say i live to a lot let's say i live to be 100 that's 60 years the question is how much money would you need to have Let's just say in cash <clears throat> for you to live off $50,000 a year for 60 years. Here's the thing, though. Keep in mind that we're also talking about inflation. Inflation 
And again, this is all just very rough numbers. It generally doubles the cost of living every 20 years. So $50,000 this year, in order to live a $50,000, a current $50,000 lifestyle in 20 years, you'd have to have $100,000, right? So um, that kind of thing. You think about inflation in that way. So the question is, how much would you have to have I'm going to put this in the museum right now. How much would you, how much money would you have to have? Let's say in cash and never make, if you could never make another penny of money and you couldn't invest it and make any interest or anything, how much would you have to have? For me, at $50,000 a year for like 40 years, I could do that with $5 million. So think about that for a second. Because again, in 20 years from now, that 50000 will only be buying $25,000 worth of goods. And then after, 20 years after that, it'll only be $12,500 years, $12,500 worth of goods. So it's things like that you have to keep in mind. But literally nothing I want. But again, $5 million? If I die in 50 years, $22.5 million easy. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, if you gave me $5 million right now, I could cash out. <laughs> Like again, never have to invest anything. I wouldn't even have to have it in the bank. You would give it to me in cash and I could I would be fine. So it's like people saying, Oh, I want to be billionaire, I want to be a billionaire and whatever. And again, and if you do some basic investing, you buy some bonds or you have some money in the bank or whatever, you'd be able to live off of the interest of that. So it's like for like way less, you'd be able to have way less than that and live off the interest. So I think that the, the idea that um, because people who just want nothing more than to be as rich as possible are constantly trying to be as rich as possible, there's this concept, at least I always had this concept that, oh, no, you'd have to have millions and millions and millions of dollars just to survive. You really don't. Like, you really don't need to be. So people being like, oh, I want to be a billionaire or whatever, it's like. Do you though? Why? Five million is more than fifty thousand per year for the next forty years. It's way more. You're living a great life getting five million now. But that's what I'm saying though, right? Because again, if you, it's it is more than fifty thousand a year for forty years. But when you factor in inflation, in that forty years time, it would have to be two hundred thousand a year, right? So it's a little bit, you know, factoring all that in and then scaling it up over that time. Yeah, like you're really don't need that much if the like if things continue the way they have been right if the cost of living generally goes up the same as it has and if if uh you know that sort of thing which i mean it, it's been this way for the past 60 years there's a decent chance it'll keep going on the way the going that way the next 60 years right so yeah it's wild though it's wild i shouldn't have done that because i need some river crab pots as well to get some uh how do i get crab pots out of the water do i have to wait till they're empty i guess i gotta wait till they're empty um excuse me um anyway so the point is you don't need to be rich is what the point is canada raises hourly rates everyone celebrates that inflation the big buff dude slaps your ass to some degree yeah I mean, it's still, you know, it's still capitalism at work. If, if the minimum wage goes up, um, the people who got to pay that minimum wage are going to raise their... If minimum wage goes up, Walmart would raise their prices, <laughs> right? Even though... Walmart is a multi-zillion dollar company that would not would not need to raise its prices and it would still make a killing, right? So um, there is still there are still those factors at play for sure. All right, uh, that in there. Uh, how many lobsters do I need? Lobster. I need one, one. Sweet. I have one. Should I just sell it? Maybe I'll just sell it. I need shrimp, though. Definitely need shrimp for something. Australia's inflation... It's truly awful. Houses were really no, not that expensive 15, 20 years ago. Now the same houses have gone up 200 to 500% in price. 
Oof. I mean, yeah, that's that's happening in Canada too. It really is. But keep their employees working at minimum legal amount. Yeah, exactly. And I, I would pay you less if I legally was allowed to. Uh, parents, just get a house, fam. I had a house at your age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you right. You had a house at my age. Because how much were you making at my age? And how much did the house cost at the time? That's why. <clears throat> The world, uh, real estate inflation in general is terrible. The world is in a big real estate bubble right now. It's true. I'm living that actually. We got kind of got away with it moving the year that we did. If we tried to move, because we moved 2019, if we tried to move in 2020 or this year, I don't know if we would have been able to do it. Definitely not living in as nice a place as we're living. Not that we're living in a mansion or anything, we're just living in like a, a, a very a small townhouse, but still. Like, there's no way we would be uh, living where we're living if we move now instead of moving a couple years ago. Trump and China looking at the moon and Mars. <laughs> All right, sell that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep that stuff on me for now. Uh, 8.40 p.m., what should I do? I guess I can go to the mine, try and get some more stuff. Um, Let's leave you and leave you to... I need to get that last uh, dwarf scroll, though, like quite badly, actually. Maybe I'll go and do some hoeing. Smells like 2008. Yeah, well... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could probably talk for hours about... what baby boomers have done to the economy. Long story short... It is nothing but... It's 23. Um, long story short, in my opinion, the pro w one of the issues is that capitalism kind of tends to say, I want to make more money today than I made yesterday. And it's not even necessarily about... Um, which, I mean, isn't necessarily a bad thing in, in some ways. Um, the problem is when you don't think about... The problem is that it usually is about thinking about that far in advance. It's, I want to make more money today than I made yesterday. I'm not even thinking about next week. I'm not thinking about 10 years from now. I just want to make more money tomorrow than I made today and make more money the day after that than I made tomorrow and whatever else, right? And that is where you get into a heap of trouble. Because then, that's why people d deny climate change and whatnot, because it would impact them today. You could make a ki I mean, if you had as much capital as some of these energy companies, you could make a killing in renewables, in solar and wind, and like, be at the cusp and get the patents, and, you know, you guys write the patent laws, so they, they would work to your advantage, but... Like I say, they're just only looking to make more money today than they made yesterday, and that's as far as they're thinking that through. So, I can't answer, I'm gonna do some catharsis on this slime here, watch it kill me. Uh, I can't answer what I'd do with a billion easily, research and development, helping communities, but I'd still live a rich person's life, can't deny it. I like nice cars, I like nice houses. You know what, honestly, and I used to be that way too, and now I'm like, hmm. I was just happy to be able to like take us take a vacation once in a while and like I say to be honest with you I mean I guess I'm generally pretty happy with my life to be honest with you I mean yes I would like to have a slightly bigger room to stream in I admit um, you know, that would be nice It'd be nice to have my VR thing set up again um, you know and, then, and, then, and there's always and I'm a person who always has a wish list like I would love to buy some new lights and um, you know maybe get a nicer camera or another nicer camera even though my camera is very nice now, um, and whatever, but, uh, I was hoping to get a dwarf scroll, I'm not getting a dwarf scroll, um, but yeah, I just, uh, I'm pretty happy with my lifestyle, I'm not gonna lie, probably because I eat out so much, I really like eating out, I tell you, one thing I'm not giving up after this pandemic is over is food, getting food delivered, I need to go home, <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning, Grab these guys before I go, though. When you pay 20 for some 50 gig USB. 
single people. What is happiness, Paul? Well, it depends who you ask. All right, let's sell that. Do I want to sell anything else? Not really. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up for the night because I need to go work on my perfection website a bit more. Um, keep plugging away at that. If anybody wants to help me with, like I say, with a PHP, with a, with a lamp stack, although technically it's not a lamp stack, te technically it's a, we're using old PC box, newer hardware. Tappiness is the perfect kick in 808. Um, technically it's not a lamp stack, it's a, it's a little stack. Because, um, oh, it's best luck today. Huh, maybe I should go back to the, uh, oh, I can make tortillas. Maybe I should go back to the desert. Uh, we got some beets there too. We got some more corn. All right, so let's take a look at what we're doing tomorrow. Um, yeah, technically what I'm doing with my lamp stack is I am, uh, it's not Apache, it's Lighty. And it's not MySQL, it's Postgres. There you go. Uh, if you explain what needed doing, I might be able to help. Happiness is also waking up and still going. Nice mix. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, best luck. Get more ready for Sprinks. Crab pot. I don't really need to check crab pots anymore. Although I actually need to move crab pots to river and pond. Check guess for mackerel. Still want that. Upgrade the house. I might need to upgrade the house pretty soon. Um... Yeah, I think other than that, we're pretty good. We just need to wait for more crops, try and get some more money. I just need more re more of everything. I just need more resources. Speaking of just never being satisfied, no one's needing more. I definitely need more iridium. I definitely need to get more sprinklers down. Probably, maybe, I mean, maybe I just wait. Maybe I just ignore it all and just focus this year on getting the iridium I need to get the greenhouse done and get uh, to Ginger Island. And then I get sprinklers on Ginger Island and cover Ginger Island and Starfruit for year two. And yeah, maybe I just do that. And year two is basically just money and friendship, hopefully. If I can get... And I can start cooking here pretty soon once I get the house upgraded. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Turn on radio. Next up, Miley Cyrus shuts off, shuts off radio. Um, anyway, that's the plan for next time. We'll try and get some more iridium. We'll see about moving the crab pots. We'll check us again. And yeah, we'll go from there. That's the plan for next time.